Hey guys, Sumit here. So welcome to my office series. This is like a video in continuation to that series. Um, I have two monitors. One is very new. One is pretty old. This is the old one. This is the new one. The old one is a Dell one and it doesn't have a display port. And uh, the, the new one, AOPEN one has a display port as well as a HDMI option. Now I use a MacBook for my daily work and I got this dock from Amazon long back. This is an Amazon basics dock which supports HDMI, USB-C and a USB 3.1 I think a version as well. Now uh, the thing is that uh, I wanted to reduce the cable management as much as possible so that only one wire enters the laptop and one more is a charging wire which uh, which is on my right. So um, instead of you know using one HDMI and connecting it to one monitor, so I got one display port wire as well so that this connects to the to the to the monitor which is new and the HDMI can be used with the monitor which is old. So yeah, let's unbox this. So yeah, this is the this is the box which just got delivered some time back. So let's and this time I got a knife as well. Um, I'll look up the costing and I'll share it in the in the description box below. Maybe I don't remember it right now, but. It looked pretty nice. I was very confused whether to get a display port or maybe get a dock. But I already have one, you know, like multi-dock kind of a thing. So I didn't uh, think it was very useful to get a new dock. Okay, so this is the wire. So this is like a USB-C or a Thunderbolt uh, to a display port wire. Um, these are the new, you know, threads which are used in most of the wires nowadays. This is very, very strong and it doesn't bend much, I guess, or it doesn't get destroyed on bending. So that's a bonus. It has a cable tie, which is again a big bonus, you know, because I really want to have a good cable management because I have a puppy as well. And on bad days, he can be very, very naughty. So yeah, let's just set this up and then we'll continue the video from there. Okay, so I have connected the wire with the monitor from the back and these are, I just noticed that these are like gold plated USB 3 and the display port as well. I, there is some advantage for that, I guess better uh, communication, like better transfer speeds, but I'm still not sure how this helps. So let's just connect and see first directly to the, to the laptop to see if it works or not as expected. Does support 144 hertz as well, so which is which is what I was expecting. I don't know how much of a difference it is to you know between 120 hertz and 144 hertz. To be really honest, now well, let's let's just do this. Let's just unplug it from from the MacBook and try to connect it via the dock because you know this is the the biggest reason I got a Display Port wire was that I can connect all the monitors using this single dock kind of a thing directly instead of you know connecting two different wires but if that doesn't work I guess I have to connect two different wires so let's just try that I'll just you know remove these and I hope it works let's see fingers crossed okay nothing is happening right now it seems this USB-C doesn't provide the Thunderbolt 3 support so that means I won't be able to run my monitor using this dock anymore uh, so that's bad because i was really hoping that this would support it on i looked up you know the reviews and questions on amazon for this dock particularly and a lot of people said that this does support it but anyway i needed a wire you know nevertheless even if i have a dock i would need a wire to connect the monitor so let me try it again it seems it doesn't work this way Okay, not an issue. So let me just set up this monitor as well and then let's just see how the multi-monitor setup looks after that. So I have connected the HDMI wire with this old uh, monitor, the Dell monitor. And now let's try connecting this to the, to the Amazon Basics dock. And um, using the display port wire, let us connect to the MacBook. And let's see if, if you know, both the monitors kind of power on. Okay. I'm sure this is going to work because this is something very basic. It's meant to do that. Okay, 
yeah look at these two so this is at the higher refresh rate this is at 60 hertz but it doesn't matter while viewing stuff it only matters when you're mo doing movements uh on the screen so which one do you think looks better does does the does the a open monitor look better or does the dell look better the biggest advantage of using a USB-C and a DisplayPort cable is that I can connect my mobile phone to the monitor at 144Hz, I guess. And um, I did try this with, with an older OnePlus 5 phone, but it didn't work. So I guess it only supports the newer phones. It's very fast. It doesn't lag at all compared to what we have experienced in the in the previous generation of of mo TV to mobile connectivity using Wi-Fi. I did play a few games. It was pretty much fun. I I wasn't expecting this at uh, at all. And this is like a mini console game for me right now, as I don't game a lot on my on my laptop. All in all, this does look like a very good quality cable and only time will tell how long does this last. I hope it lasts a long time. My next step in the home office series would be to kind of get this working because I really want to have just one wire. I am also looking to get a laptop, sorry, a monitor stack so that I can have a lot more desk real estate than it is at present. And um, so yeah, thank you for joining. Uh, until next time, Sumit. So